That's quite the intro. That's quite the intro. That's not too bad. 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 We've had very serious technical difficulties. We've had very serious technical difficulties. We've had very serious technical difficulties. But we're here. But we're here. We're live from Paris. We are. Thomas, Thomas, join us. 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 Yeah, Thomas, yeah, thank you Thomas, very much for joining us. Um, us. We also um, have, we also obviously, have anthem, 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 anthem with four, anthem with four, four special squad, four special with, us. squad with us. Kajuk is here. Kajuk is here. Game changer, Kajuki. Game changer, Kajuki. Hey guys, hey guys, hey chats. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Kajuki, how are you finding Paris Games Week? Are you having a good time? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, very intense. It's like a lot of gaming, so I like it. I like it. Has it been nice to sort of come down and come down and play a game in the quiet room? Yes, yes. It feels good. It feels good. Especially with, especially with Anthem. Hoorah, hoorah. We also have, we also have bits. Juliet, 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 Juliet. Hi, hi. Yeah, we've got a really packed show. We're going to show off a brand new mission. mission. Got some new suits, got some new suits, got some new suits. Got some gear to show. Gear to show. Um, um, we've got some quests we've got some quests from, from, from you guys, guys from you guys, guys on Twitter. Some of the stuff that's from the AMA that we're going to ask a little bit later on. We've got like a whole busy show. We've got a playground. We've got a playground. We do. We have a playground. We do. We do. And it's all for us. So, Thomas, Thomas. Starts off. Starts off a little bit about what's going on here. Yeah, I mean, we've been out here all day today, showing off what we've got for our Javelin X, right? So we're showing off all four of the X, 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 all four of the Apparently, apparently, we're having a bit of an echo from the guys over in the corner. The guys in the corner. 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 Guys in of the storm, storm, right, right. So the storm, uh, the storm. Uh, for those of you, for those of you who don't know, uh, the storm uh, the is. Storm is start working. Start working. There we go. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> it's live. It's like, live. Like Lisa, like Lisa, we, like we had difficulties. Difficulties. We just got. This we just up got this up and running. Uh, so the storm uh, so is the storm is created actually by the actually by actually evil by nemesis, evil nemesis of, of freelancers, freelancers, freelancers by the dominion. By the dominion. Right. It's technology. It's based based off based off based off technology. Based off technology. Which essentially, which essentially allows allows the the lancers to actually enhances enhances genetic abilities. So I can do so I can cover longer, cover longer, troll and troll and do things like do things like. Elemental strength, elemental strike, using ice, using ice, lightning, lightning. Let's check off some of the other suits. Lee is playing the role of Lee. Lee is playing the role of the Colossus. Obviously, obviously. This is our big fella. AKA Lee. 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 Super well balanced uh, uh, javelin. It's kind of the perfect balance of offense meets defense, right? And then we've got obviously the mother of grabbits <laughs> playing uh, the interceptor today. Ooh, nice, mm. nice little celebration there. Okay, I've just had a thumbs up from the man in the corner. We fixed the, the we fixed the. We want to recap actually over the storm. Apparently, it was really really bad. Very sorry to everybody in the chat. So we are 100 um, percent less echo rate. We are, uh, yes, better. Thank you. Finally, storm. Perfect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thanks. Yes, Excellent. it's fixed. Okay, we are cool. Good. Very sorry, guys. No worries. So this is the interceptor, right? Sleek. It's the fastest, right? If you got the need for speed interceptor, that's all you. We call the interceptor essentially the space ninja. I like the interceptor reminds me a lot of like a super bike. Yeah, I've not. Yeah. Like it's got that design to it. Plus in the wheels, yeah. although you'd argue faster. <laughs> Definitely wheelless. <laughs> Why use wheels when you can fly? Exactly. Just say it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, what? I don't know if we're allowed to do this. I'm going to leave it up to the chat. Okay. 
Um, so basically, people of the chat, we know obviously the grabbits are a really big thing. You guys love them. Some of you hate them. Um, Storm likes grabbits too. Storm likes grabbits. I. Uh, we can do this how you want. Do you want us to go do some grabbit hunting? We can go and do that. <laughs> yeah. Is hunting the right word or should we go hunting or spotting, I think? Community choice. Is Community choice. Doing? Do you want to go hunting or do you want to go spotting? I think that's fair. Uh, what are they saying? I don't know, let's see. We're away from, yeah, they're just saying yes. <laughs> 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 to both? They're just yes, saying yes. Yeah. Well, um, hunt. Hunt? Yeah, hunting, spot. Okay, it's a bit, uh, Oh, actually, no, there's a lot of hunt. Wow, you guys are mean. <laughs> um, the, so there was, yes, they are, they're down there still. So if you look down off that edge. Uh, so should we fly down there and take a look? I think we should. Let's get up close. Mother of Grabbits, try not to shoot any like you did in rehearsals. <laughs> well, yeah, anyway, don't kill them all before we get there. So, these little guys, what are they about? Oh. What's the secret with these guys? Are these like the... Are we going to get to the end of the game and find out that these are actually the bad guy? Is that the plot <laughs> twist? I can't get into the, the, the lore and the story in this session. Let's just say the Grabbits are, are present in the world of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> or not present. I think we're supposed to be hunting right now, right? We're not supposed to be. Yeah, we are hunting. So, yeah, let's, uh, oh no. I'm going to be honest. A little we're not the strongest far. enemies we've encountered. <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem to take No. They're all starting to run away, actually, yeah, now. They are, they are, they they are, are all off. Yeah. There's a nice little pod of them down here, look, at the bottom of this hill. Oh, where are you at? Do you, I want to see if I can mortar them. Is mortaring them allowed, chat? Should we mortar the rabbits? You see? Ooh. Ooh. That wasn't me. Little that wasn't acid. me. I want to put one down the hill. Well, that's it straight <laughs> watch, there. The, watch, watch out for the toxins on that. Who was that? The ranger? Yeah, that was me. Oh, interceptor. <laughs> you see these guys down here at the bottom? Where are you at? I'm. I'm Sam, right, you ready, you ready? Boom! A little mortar action. Oh. Good night. Oh, I missed! <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get back on the mission. Okay, yeah, let's get back on the mission. Let's head back up to the platform. And let's start the mission properly. Cool. Um, so, I mean, for me, when we've been doing rehearsals, this is kind of one of the cool things for me, is that, yes, we're on a mission, but yeah. actually, if you want to sort of mess about yeah, and just can, fly around right? and explore and stuff, you can do that it's too. Up to you. Um, I've got to boot the chat back up because my laptop just left. No worries. <laughs> Why don't I set up the mission? We have we done it? this before, I swear. Yeah, yeah, you set yeah. up the mission. Yeah, tell so, us a bit about it. So this mission is called the Lost Arcanist, right? So uh, we were back in Fort Tarsus inside the protective walls in, in our beautiful world that's, uh, that is Anthem. Uh, a Corvus agent by the name of Tassin has approached us to find one of their lost arcanists by the name of Matthias. Apparently Matthias is out there and, and the arcanists they search for, for shaper runes and things like that out in the actual world outside the, the protective walls of, of again, Fort Tarsus. Uh, our job is to actually go find uh, Matthias. Uh, with the help of our cipher, Owen, who again is the eyes and ears of, of any freelancer, uh, he's gonna help guide us through the mission. He's like a man in the chair, basically. He's back it. at base. That's right. Everything that's yeah, going on. You got it. Well, let's jump so on yeah, this. You're heading down? Right. So again, here's our beautiful world of, uh, of, of Anthem. Uh, Owen, uh, what you guys missed while we were on the platform during the setup there, uh, he's kind of let us know that, hey, I've got a signal. I've got a beat here on, on, on Matthias. Come check it out. The As I skim the water here, you'll see that I'm actually cooling down my javelin. Right? That's cool. I love that. You can also do that by flying through waterfalls and like actually when you dip into water above, you've seen a lot of that in our trailers. Absolutely. Like, it is super cool. Like when you're running hot and you just happen to just catch a waterfall, they all seem to be conveniently placed. And you just yeah. straight through them, there's cool no accident, jets, right? and then you're yeah, off. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun, and it's a really cool moment when you do it as well, especially the first time. Oh, it's awesome. So this is an Arcanist camp, right? Uh, so this was the, kind of the first signal. Um, Owen, again, he gave us sort of a, a, some intel that obviously Matthias has been here, right? Uh, but he's definitely not here right now. So here's our first clue. Again, I'm going to kind of check out and check out the signal here, see if we can actually locate oh, hang on. our good friend. Detecting another radio. Same frequency. What you're not hearing right now in this build again, this is alpha footage, right? Uh, so my player voice actually isn't happening. So I'm letting uh, Matthias, uh, Owen know that we can't actually find him. He's told us to go find and follow this signal, right? 
So these things here that we're going to fly through, these are these are basically the beacons that have been yeah, put down for us? Yeah, these are essentially the signals that, that uh, okay. Owen's actually trail. locating we'll and using for us to follow. We'll need to get for better reception. There's a lot of trees in the game. Did you guys spend a lot of time in the forest <laughs> taking pictures of trees and modeling trees? Oh. Like, did, was it like a big developer expedition yeah, to the really rainforest in Brazil? It was, so. you know, it was balanced out between Austin and Edmonton, so we did a lot of tree tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> okay, so this bit, the, the Lost Arcanist that we're coming up to, he is. Um, is he like, is he part of a group? Is this like a faction that we'll interact a lot with? Uh, yeah, the Arcanists are all throughout Fort, Tars Fort Tarsus. There's a lot of them, right? Um, but Matthias is one of the main ones. Uh, again, not to devote too much of the storyline and that kind of stuff, but he's definitely a present uh, in, in our world. I realized I wasn't paying attention to where I was flying and I went, <laughs> and you went off, off into the wrong direction. There we go. So this is our next location here. Uh, we come upon uh, another, another camp. Okay, so. What we've got to do here is basically just. So, are we, we're hoping to find him here. We're hoping he's here. Oh, I've seen a box. Are we allowed to open some loot boxes? <laughs> you can open loot boxes. No, I, I think you need to open some loot boxes so that we, people can see because the, the, there's one down here if you come over near me. I'm doing a mission right now. No, come on, this is a particularly glowy one. This one's just. Where are you at? Glowy. <laughs> um, I don't know, hang on, where are you? There you are. There you are. Look. There you are. Come down these stairs. Let's take a look. So while see, this, I mean, this is the freedom of Anthem. You can be on a mission with somebody who's in dire straits. Okay. Meanwhile, <laughs> just be going and looking out for loot, right? <laughs> there I have nice. a the loot. Awesome. So there's lots of stuff like that. There's like there resources is, in right? the world. Like yeah, yeah there's lots of yeah. little things that you can interact with and sort of learn more about. There is for sure. I but mean, we should really be but, saving yeah, our. Well, try to stay with me because right now we're we're using the search mechanic. I didn't mean to oh. derail it. It was just the chat. I oh, could no. see them all going on about the the, uh, like the, 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 the boxes in the I, world. They wanted to see some. I loot, totally so. get it. Right. So we're, we're using our search mechanic right now to actually find another clue. So this is this green thing up at the top. That's exactly what that is. Right. So again, using the storm, this is kind of my sprint, right? Again, hovering, using that, using that seals technology. And here Signal it is. Device found. Using it to locate Matthias. This uh, searches. I guess doing too long, and it's too quiet. Good. That's good. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. So right now we're kind of solving this radio mystery, right? Uh oh, I think we've got some company. Oh, okay. Uh, in the way of the search. Do something. Yeah, so like we've been talking about all week, right? Uh, the fact that we're all playing four different javelins, right? Endless combinations as far as what people can do. We could play four flops if we wanted, right? Right now, we're obviously choosing to play with each of our different ones. Uh, you can see Lee up there in the, in the front uh, using the Colossus. He's kind of our big heavy. He can take the most damage. That's definitely where he wants to be when we engage in battle. I'm going to be honest, I'm a big fan of this shield and some of like the special run charge things you can do with it. Oh, we'll show a little bit of that. We'll show some of the abilities actually later. We'll get, get through this fight so we can show off properly. Yeah, what you want really to do cool. though is you want to come back inside this beacon. There we go. Oh, okay. You solve that puzzle. This is right? I'm not playing the game properly. Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> you can't know what you don't know. <laughs> Let's take off the scar, right? Yeah, so what can you tell us about these guys? Are these just the bad guys and we'll learn more about them later? Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely one of the bad guys, right? They're not the Dominion, which other people out there already know. They're, they're the big, big bad, bad guys. These are just cannon fodder. These are an inconvenience, is what they call <laughs> These guys are just in the way. <laughs> I mean, they're brave going off against... I mean, what are they, what are they even wearing? I'm going to use, my, on these use my Storm Ultimate on this thing and just completely get rid of this high. Oh, okay, that was cool. <laughs> right? Every one of the elements. <laughs> Every one of the elements. Boom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See you later. Bye, hi. <laughs> right. So obviously you want to take off these hives, get rid of the uh, that's what's actually generating these enemies in the scar. How you doing, Interceptor? Pretty good. Yeah. You any, any graphics over there? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> a little lightning strike. The interceptor does look a little bit like a grabbit. I've just noticed. <laughs> maybe, maybe the pilot for the interceptor Whoa. is a grabbit. Have I died? I'm taking some damage here. I was, I was taking some damage. It's me. I'm not playing. What you, what you guys you probably picked up you, on there is I was not hovering, and that's when the storm is at its strongest from a de defensive perspective, right? So while I was actually on the ground, like, like now, right, I'm susceptible to damage, right? So I want to actually stay in this hover. And 
As um, some of the squad that I regularly play Battlefield and other games with, um, they will tell you that when you're playing a game with me, you're playing on hard mode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a liability. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, you, 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 you are the X factor uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. the wrong direction. I'm the hard mode. Yeah, perfect. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. So okay. you're, you're you you put the non-team in team. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's that's too bad. I didn't get to choose my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have got some more flying to do now. We do. Nothing. We just lost the radio. The world is huge. We're we can basically fly around alive. pretty much everything we can see here, right? And even more that we can't see. All the stuff that's on the ground. Absolutely. Absolutely. The only thing that's really containing you, obviously, is so you can't fly forever. Yeah. Right? I like we kind of talked about before. Right. Beautiful open world. Uh, lots of things to do, lots, lots of activity. loot to what get, uh, lots of enemies to fight, a lot of creatures, very dangerous, right? I'm going to pick up some health. Cool, I've run out of ammo, and go, I've got a grenade launcher now. We got it, there we go. We're trying to fight the perfect fight right now, it's almost like we've rehearsed this. Oh wait a minute. Here's our next clue, okay, right? But actually, I'll tell you before. I want to get a bit. I haven't been paying a lot of attention to the chat, and I know we've had like the yeah. we had the anthem A M A A A. How many A's do we have? Four, four A's. Four A's. Five total. <laughs> um, we've had like that going on as well. So we've been asking for your guys' questions coming on Twitter. Um, if you still want to send some of those into us, you can. Obviously, we'll try and get to as many questions on the um, uh, on the chat too as we come along. That now I'm not trying to die, basically. Um, but Kajuki's here. Um, Kajuki, hey. one of the game changers. Mm -hmm. um, you've obviously you've played the game before. You was with us at uh, you was with the Gamescom. You had a hands-on on that version, and that's kind of the video that a lot of you guys would have um, already seen. That big twenty-minute long video. You got it. Um, so you've obviously already gone hands-on <coughs> with that, which is really cool. Um, yes. You enjoying your time with it? How's this new mission? You enjoying it? Yeah, it's it's really cool, and I can feel like the co-op and everything it's it's uh, like this sense of epicness like the objectives of the mission so the research mechanics uh, the way also you can fly with your exo it's 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 really cool yeah mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you what we'll do actually if you want you can join us up here on the big table sure because um, I wanted to ask I wanted you to sort of basically interview and chat to Thomas on the community's behalf um, okay. Because as all good community managers do, we delegate. There we go. To the community. <laughs> <laughs> Why do when others can do for you? Don't be afraid. Right? <laughs> Hi. Hi you um, so, yeah, take a seat, go for it. Thanks. Um, so, first off, I suppose we'll introduce you properly. Mm -hmm. Where can people find you on the internet? What's your, what do you kind of do? Um, Why are you cool? Why are uh, you here with us? I don't know if I'm cool. Uh, so yes, I'm a EA game changer. Uh, I am on Twitter, Instagram, on YouTube. Um, I also live. I also really love racing games, and uh, I had a huge crush for Anthem. Um, so I had the chance to join the the program and also to have some free heads on on the game. Um, so I'm really like also when I talk with the community about the changes, the evolution of the games. So I really, I'm really interested in that. Yeah, awesome. Very um, cool. Well, welcome. Thank it's you. Great to have you here. Thank you. So yes, uh, we gathered some questions from the community, and one of the things when you want to play with your friends, so how does the the co-op system works through the whole game? Can I play full co-op through the whole game? Yeah, absolutely. The entire story is actually designed to take co-op uh, gameplay into perspective and in, in, in mind. Right, so there's definitely four players. You can play with two people, three people. Right, mm. uh, that's what we've built. Right, so you can play that entire experience with your friends. Awesome, that's really great. We can't wait to play with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> uh, something also that comes, also I can see on social media, is about the emotes. You know, like as we can see in some other games. So I'm curious about how you want to like uh, the interactions with your friends when you play. Yeah. Uh, what kind of what kind of emotes you have? Yeah, you've seen that. You've probably seen several times myself actually doing the waves and and doing yes. the claps. Uh, so each of each of our javelins actually have their own, which is actually really cool, right? So it's customized per per class. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Um, so we can see also the javelin, so you're, you're to start with a specific javelin at the beginning of the game. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, the first javelin that you'll, uh, you'll be introduced to is the Ranger, right? That's the one that we unveiled about two years ago, right? Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's, it's probably one of my favorites because it's the perfect combination of offense and defense, 
Uh, that ranger is actually where you start out with. We'll teach you the basics of, of reloading weapons, firing weapons, flying, sprinting uh, throughout some of the early missions within the game, right? Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, so just like a random question, uh, are you getting enough frisks and snacks during your day here <laughs> in Paris? Uh, well, in, here in Paris, uh, I, I just arrived a couple days ago, so not so much here in Paris. Uh, and definitely, I'm sure I speak for every all of uh, us devs back at home, mm -hmm. uh, in both Austin and in Edmonton. Uh, uh, definitely enough snacks, <laughs> right? And I'll leave it at that. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we've had we've had quite a few. We've had quite a few snacks. We've been we took you out for pizza. Yeah, had a burger for oh, lunch. I'm talking about. I brought you like a stack of chocolate biscuits <laughs> yesterday. Like now you're kind of like lowballing it, like you're not yeah. being looked after. That's not what I'm talking. That's about. harsh. That's harsh, yeah. Thomas. You've hurt um, my feelings. <laughs> so, oh yes. Um, so can you fly endlessly in a game? So, or you just like some point you just need to cool down. So as yeah. yeah, well, I think you've probably seen in a lot of the demo that we've been doing here. It's it's definitely not endless flying, right? Mm -hmm. uh, while flying is amazing and fun, your cool your suit needs to cool down, right? So you can overheat. Uh, if you're using the storm like I'm using right now, um, be because it's not a huge defensive uh, uh, javelin, right? It can fly for longer and hover longer, right? Um, but uh, outside of that, there's definitely a window of how long you can actually fly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Cool. Um, so maybe the next round of questions. Well, questions? Should we carry on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I can see in the chat there see, are the so chat, many are the questions. Are the chat getting a bit antsy? They want some more gameplay. Yes. Who's? And they have many questions. Oh, they have many questions. <laughs> okay, we'll try to get to some of those. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Kajuki. Round of applause for Kajuki, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. right, cool. Stop. Storm's joining in. I've completely so forgot where we're at now. Well, uh, we're trying to save this Arcanist. <laughs> yeah, Owen's just giving us another radio signal, right? So let's let's see what what's going on. Again, Arcanist we're location. looking for Matthias. Here he is. I'm asking Matthias if he can hear me, right? And now we can. Great. <laughs> <laughs> <Right? laughs> Um, actually, I know what we should do probably before we fly away, because um, I'm sure some of the uh, I'm sure some of the chat want to see it. Like, do you want to sh show off some of our special abilities? Yeah, let's do it. Like a little bit of that. I mean, I, I only I only say so because I've um, I've got my ultra, and every time I've tried to fight it in rehearsals, I've ended up shooting somebody in the back of the head or launching it straight into a tree. Um, <laughs> feels like a controlled environment here. It does. Um, Who do you want your target to be with that so ultimate? I, I think you oh, should. No, I don't know. I just want to oh. put it over there. See where that radar thingy is? Yeah. This thing? Do it. So, activating your ultimate. So, actually, before I do it, yeah. maybe give us a little bit. What should I be doing when I'm using my ultimate playing as a Colossus? I mean, well, with any of your javelins, what you should be doing from an ultimate perspective is, is choosing the timing very, very well, right? So, the ultimate is obviously like, where you're playing with Xbox controllers right now. Um, uh, pressing up on the D-pad will actually engage that ultimate. Uh, it's the Siege Cannon, that's the ultimate essentially for the uh, for the Colossus character. Uh, it's kind of like uh, the, the most explosive, uh, uh, destructive weapon you can think of. If you want something to disappear, use the ultimate, right? right? That's kind of how you're going to finish off some of your heavy bosses, right? Uh, or if you want to finish off multiple targets, that's your choice. Make cool. sense? Yep, cool. yeah, right, so I'm going to power this one up. I hope I don't launch it straight into a rock. There you go. <laughs> so I've got a few of these. And yeah. there was a, you couldn't see it on my screen, but there was like a little timer thing going around. Is that basically I can just as many as I can punt out in that time? Absolutely. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a duration based system, right? If you get one attack off, that's well, that's what you get, right? If you can get three off, that's typically what I get off because I, I noticed you only got two off. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. But better luck. Next. I was talking. Right. <laughs> um, I've also got my shield. This is super cool. I love this. Um, I'm gonna, sorry, I'll come over here. My favorite thing to do with this shield is this burst charge. Yeah. That is a lot of fun. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely what you want to use the Colossus for, right? You want, I, you want the Colossus in front lines, front and center. You can right? do this while, you're not gonna be able to see it properly, but you can do it while flying too, which is super cool. Um, I really love this. I lost you. You've lost me, I'm above you, there oh, I right? you go. <laughs> 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 oh. uh, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, sure you can. <laughs> I mean, get down low. Yeah. 
just bowling pin into a load of enemies. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, super cool. So, I suppose let's take a look at the interceptor. A lot of people in the chat want to see some more oh. interceptor. Yes. This is your moment to shine, mother of grabids. Don't fly away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's me. There's the interceptor. That's the interceptor's ultimate. So this is like a really cool like hack and slash moment you'll dart around yeah, all the, the enemies the, the, on the battlefield. Well, the ultimate uh, for the interceptor is essentially uh, using your dual blades, right, like a ninja would, uh, and going from opponent to opponent to opponent and taking them out uh, through time. While you're in that state, uh, the defense uh, for the interceptor increases, right? So you're uh, less susceptible to damage while in that state, right? So you're kind of supercharged, if you will, right? Make sense? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Um, what else have we got? I think if we, we've seen your super already, which oh, is yes. awesome. Is there anything else special about the storm you want to be able to show off? Uh, yeah, well, the storm, like one of my. Uh, let's see. Uh, what happens I show off, right? Again, the storm's hover ability, right? Uh, what you're seeing here is ice shards, right? Uh, essentially, when I hit the opponents with this, I'll both do some damage and freeze them, right? Uh, I've already shown off the electrical storm, right? You can see that I'm actually able to hover in the air for quite long, right? Yeah, that's, so that's you can, you can like, so I guess that's kind of like one of the things, like the Colossus, yes. um, I can hover for a decent amount of time, but he's a heavy dude. Yeah, um, and you're going to run out because you don't have that, uh, you don't have the seals ability that I actually have, right? And what you're also seeing around me right now is actually a, a defensive shield, right? So this is the state that you want to play in when you're actually playing with the Storm again, probably more of a ranged attack type uh, javelin, right? So you want to stay away. Uh, you want to stay in the air because that's where your defense is the best, right? Yeah. You don't want to get too close. Okay, cool. I think we should probably crack on with the mission. Well, yeah, because um, I think with the eyes, he was, uh, was, was, uh, was in trouble and uh, we're not too much of a hurry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he's still there. <laughs> okay, here's another one of my favorite bits. Get down by the water, call off your jets. Oh, your jets. Oh, and try not yeah. to crash into the water like I often do. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, coming. So here we are. Yeah, yes. I'm just right behind you. So this whole new area now. So as, I've seen this question come up in the chat, and I didn't quite get the person's name. But it's, it's basically like this whole world is it open to us? It um, is. It, it's not like we're not constrained. I mean, I know we've kind of been following the path here a little bit at the start, but. Yep. Um, like we yeah. could just fly off anyway really we could we could while you're on a mission uh, and, and we're, right now we're playing a party right so there will be party gather right because yeah. we obviously want to stay on the mission together yeah right? so the game will help us along from from that from that perspective for sure okay so we're gonna hop down if we save Matthias Matthias however you want Matthias. to <laughs> oh he's, at the, he's, oh, okay. he's already busy here. he's already busy Let's take off the scar. He seems to be fine. One piece. So far. Yes. Yes, I'm fine. A little electrical storm. So these scrappers, where are they coming from? Something with the are, they, are they coming from Something underground? Has been these guys are being spawned. They could be spawned from some hives that we just don't see right now. Uh, they could have to uh, be t uh, teleporting in from some portal holes. Drop the thighs. He looks okay. I think. We're so absorbed in our research and filter. Okay. What's up, buddy? Oh no, hang on. We've got trouble. Oh, got another wave. Yeah, there's a the teleporter. It's not another bad day. We've got some more scar coming in. I'd love to know how he got here. I mean, it took us 45 minutes to get here. And we're <laughs> quite, I mean, admittedly, we've messed around with it. We don't really know how long we've got. <laughs> Melee attack. Ultimate. Where you at? Oh, you just popping the ultimate. <laughs> it's pulling the trigger. Micro missiles painting those targets. Yeah, we've got a big one. If you have to pick a favorite, oh, I think I have. Uh, I'd like the interceptors. Oh, yeah, yeah, just uh, I love the uh, the oh, fact that guys here. you know the little space as you get in there, use the dual blades, and just carve things up. I'm behind. What's going on with this guy here? Well, this is Scar head. He kind of looks right? a bit like me. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's, we don't want to mess with him for too long, right? Oh, yeah, he's got his flamethrower out, right? And he's got this big shield. I think I have the elbow. Uh-oh. Seems to be pretty, uh, 
Yeah, he's, uh, he'd take a lot of damage. Keep, yeah. We'll soak up some bullets. So this is basically like a little, like a little mini box for the lone one. Yeah? Yes, you got it. Yeah, exactly. Where'd you go? Now, actually, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Mm -hmm. uh oh, there he is. <laughs> he's been, yeah. He took advantage of some of the Yeah, he, 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 he completely snuck under us here. I gotta get oh. some of his help. Well, you know what, Lee? What? Well, you want to leave him? I think that's it. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oof, let's clean up the rest of them now, shall we? There you go. That obviously isn't all. <laughs> There's a hell of a lot more Anthem. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a cool mission. That's a good lot of fun. I'm looking forward to playing that. Um, sort of back home with a lot of my friends. I'm going to log back into my laptop again to see what's going on in the chat. Um, so, what kind of happens... I know, I want to ask you about the story. I'm being a geek and I know I'm not allowed to ask you about the story. <laughs> and um, I won't tell you about sorry, the story. I want to know just as bad yeah. as the chat does, but yeah, at the same yeah. time I don't because I want to find out myself when I get to play it at home. Yeah. And I've already had some spoilers from the start, so that's kind of why we're actually stopping here because we don't want to um, we don't want to go down too far down the road and I don't want to spoil things because I think it's, uh, yeah. it's cool that people get to discover a lot of this stuff for themselves. Um, Anthem is uh, a massive world and a really big game and I think... Uh, well, you guys at Bioware have done an awesome job with it. Yeah, and we're super proud of the game. Uh, you know, it's 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 a game that we wanted to make for a long period of time, right? So definitely uh, at Bioware, we're proud of story. Uh, we're also proud of uh, bringing that story and combining it with our co-op experience here in Anthem, right? You saw four players, uh, like Kajuki asked, right? You'll be able to participate and go on that story and on these quests and missions together cooperatively, right? So we're super proud of it and really excited. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, I think that is pretty much bringing us to the end of the live stream. Um, thank you very much to everybody in the chat for sticking with us during the technical difficulties at the start. We got there in the end. Thank you very much to Kajuki and Mother thank of Grabbits. <laughs> Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I just, want, I just want to say one other thing, and, 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 and thank you to everybody who's back in the offices working super hard and making this amazing game. Uh, it's turning out fantastic. Again, this is just, this is alpha footage, right? So we're not done yet. Uh, so there's plenty more to go into, but uh, we're super happy with where we're at. No, no, it's great. Um, loads of Anthem news. Hopefully, if this is, I mean, if this is the first time you've seen Anthem, there's a load of stuff that you can sort of learn about it. You can head over to um, the Anthem website. There's loads of blog posts there. There's some more depth on like loads of stuff. Um, obviously you subscribe to us on Twitch, hopefully, uh, if you haven't, hit subscribe, there's going to be a lot more of these live streams. Um, they'll actually be featuring, probably and hopefully, um, AJ and some of the guys from the Bioware team as well, it won't just be us um, every week. Um, but it has been an honour to host this here from Paris, um, AJ senses love. Some people that you want to follow, uh, Mark Dara on Twitter, uh, sure. definitely one of yep. them, John Warner on Twitter, Anthem Game. Gam my gambo. <laughs> um, I'm going to upset a load of people in the studio now by, by not, by not, not mentioning yeah, yeah. them. Um, follow Anthem Game on Twitter as well. Uh, obviously, Instagram, Facebook, it's on kind of everywhere. And you can get all of your news from there. Um, but yeah, that's it from Paris Games Week. Thank you very much. Au revoir. We'll see you soon. <laughs>